All right, well, thank you so, so much, Justin. We have our other favorite meteorologist joining us inside, but today he's not talking about weather, perhaps some bubbles. <laughs> but Andy is here to join us today to talk about a project really close to his heart. First, Andy, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah, this is close to my heart and my family, my kids, because it kind of really starts and originates with that. Mm -hmm. um, you might have seen us. We were out at uh, the Lug Nuts of Rory game with yes. our little uh, wash machine here, and uh, we're all part of this Lansing Laundry Project, okay. which is really a nationwide event that takes place. Um, so it's called Soap and Hope. So people who are low income, poverty, we get a lot of folks in mind to be from out of the country, they'll come and we actually take over a laundry mat for three hours, okay. pay for all the stuff that needs to get their laundry done, including paying the guy who owns the laundry mat. Okay. <laughs> so that's, we're trying to raise funds for that. So donations are still helpful. Uh, we have Clark Construction as a major donor, which is fantastic. They build a lot of buildings around the area. A lot of people donating with just uh, the little pods of soap and things like that. So here's how it all started. Okay. Uh, this is a CO1, uh, 501c3 charitable organization so that it, it really is already started in a lot of other states, but it mm -hmm. has never been in Michigan. Yeah. It's never come here. So I decided let's try it with, along with my kids to bring it to Michigan. So Lansing is a 67th city of this whole project. Awesome. Uh, they okay. were in Tampa just a couple of weeks ago and they were in North Carolina. Uh, they go on a lot of places. So Lansing will be the next place. So there's areas you can scan or you can go to Andy Provenzano's Facebook page and I've made some of this public for you. Mm -hmm. Here's the hope. It, folks who can't afford uh, a lot of bills, as a lot of people are in that situation. Right. So they're paying for medicine, they're paying for food, which has gone way up, or gas, which exactly. has gone way up. And then what gets put on the back burner sometimes is just getting clothes washed. Right. And they find in this project that the kids don't go to school. They, they don't want to get bullied. They don't want to be accused that they smell, things like that. So it really affects the structure of the, the little community in their home. Mm -hmm. So Laundry Project, my daughter was part of it in Austin. That's where she lives. Her husband, who used to be a lug nut broadcaster, that's okay. how they met. So they're from this area. They've wanted to bring it back to Lansing. We've had conversations. They link up with the professional soccer team in Austin, Texas. Uh, we had the lug nuts, and now we have Clark Construction. So we're trying to get more of these, and hopefully we can expand to other areas. So when you look at what areas need it the most, obviously everybody would like to get a free laundry, uh, right. but we're trying to get those that don't have the money for this. Exactly. So we try to find areas that are to pinpoint. We're going to be in South Lansing first, mm -hmm. and it's going to be on the September 28th, and we'll be announcing where that uh, laundry mat will be. We, okay. But the money we need is to pay for the gentleman's laundry mat from right. 10 to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to try to rush a lot of people through as fast as the machines could go. So they've done it down in Austin successfully. They do it about every three months now, mm. and we're hoping to get into that schedule. And this all depends on how many people want to, will show up. And I'm told with the, the, with the smaller projects that have gone on in Lansing, there's been lines out the door. So we expect that. We've got a lot of volunteers, Clark Construction, my family members, all going to be in there to help things out so that those folks can put that on the back burner. You know, they bring right. not only just clothes, but pillowcases and, right, and beddings sheets. and things Mattress, like that. They yeah. try to bring rugs. We don't let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> that ties up too many machines. We were trying to get a lot of people to go through. So right. if they can have clean clothes, and clean things like that. There's a, some people will not even uh, go on a job interview or maybe they get right. bounced out of a job interview because their closing is not the best. So this is our first time. I'm hoping that people in mid-Michigan would like to embrace it like I'm trying to do and that uh, the donations would go towards paying for all of that. I think I've got most of the pods taken care of. But uh, so the, the actual place that's going to hold it, which we'll announce, or you can go to this uh, Facebook page and, and uh, my page, and we'll tell you when that's coming up. So it's on the 28th. The 28th. Yeah, we're Mark talking about calendars. 10 days, 11 days away. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And of course, there's still time for you to donate. And this is such a beautiful cause. This is something I feel like people don't realize that they take for granted. So uh, thank well, you. You know, the one thing they like to say is you'll see where your money goes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go back into a bank account right there. That's yeah. awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andy. And there's still more studio tent to come. <laughs>